Hey everybody and welcome back to Gal. In this video, I'm sharing with you a new plugin called Streamer, which allows you to customize your own music inside of Premiere Pro. So what exactly makes this more unique than let's say other stock music sites that you probably already use? Well, for one, you can customize the music track. For example, you can change the tempo, you can change the mood, you can even choose to turn off particular instruments. So if you don't want the drums playing, you can do that with Streamer. So the way that the company Score Addiction who created Streamer sort of envisioned this is that in early 2019, when they turn it into a subscription model, because right now it's free for use that you can download, is that new tracks will be added each week, kind of like a Netflix, but for music. So right now it's only available for Mac. They're still developing the PC version, which will be available likely in early 2019. So go ahead and let's download it. Go to scoreaddiction.com and you can download it for free. Use the music in your video and I'll show you some of the great features and let's see how it works. So after you install Streamer from scoreaddiction.com, open up your Premiere Pro CC project. And currently I have this montage sequence of stock video clips of a beach that I got from Envato Elements. Now what I want to do is add music to the sequence using Streamer. So first you need to make sure that you're in your audio workspace in Premiere Pro, and then you will find your audio track mixer. And this is where you're going to apply the Streamer plugin to a particular track. Now it can be any track, but let's just choose Audio Layer 1, which is also known as A1 in your timeline. So click on this little arrow to show the effects within the Audio Track Mixer. Then click on that arrow down button to choose an effect to apply to this track. So here from the drop down, we're going to select VST, Effect, Score Addiction, and Streamer. Now to launch Streamer, just double click here on Streamer. And if you don't have a Streamer account already, you will need to create one and then verify your email. So you can see that I'm already logged in and you can access your account by clicking on the gear icon in the bottom left. So as you can see, we're working in version 1.1.2, so it's just the beta version. If you have any feedback, this is where you can send feedback directly to the Streamer team using the send feedback field. So the first step is browsing. This is where we find the music track that we want to customize. So let's select browse playlist. And currently there are eight playlists that have free music that you can use and they're divided up into branding, beds, and beauty. So before we select one, we want to actually drag this placeholder file in the bottom right onto our audio track. Now in our case, it's going to be A1. Now doing this portion is very important because without this placeholder file in your track, you will not be able to play or manipulate the music. Now that this is done, you can select a playlist. So I'm going to choose positive energy. And then you can click on a music track. And then from the timeline, you can hit the space bar to play back the track to hear what it sounds like. Now the cool part here is that you can hear and see what the music feels like with the footage in your timeline, which is unique compared to other music tools. And you can try out as many as you like. And once you find the one you like, I personally am feeling the rolling rock track, then just hit load playlist. And this will change the panel to the next section where you can modify the energy, tempo, or the beauty, which is the mood of this particular track. And at the bottom, you can also rotate to another song in this playlist just by clicking on the different numbers. So energy controls the intensity of the track. So if I move this up and then play it back, you will hear that the drums are loud and energetic. But as I move it down, you will hear that the overall energy drops and the instruments drop out. So since I want the drums in there, I'm going to keep the energy high. You can also control the tempo, which is like beats per minute. So if I increase that and play it back, the drums are faster. And if I decrease it, you'll hear that they're slower. So I'm going to keep mine just in between because I think that's best. And beauty in this case controls the mood of this particular track. So if I decrease the beauty, you'll hear more of the bass and drums. And increasing the beauty will bring back in more of the melody, which is more of like a beautiful component of this track. And that is played by the guitar. And of course, if you don't like the customization that you've done, at any time you can just click on the reset button here to go back to the original mix. 
And next are the stems. So you can click on stems here or up at the top that will take you to this stems tab. So here you can control the individual instruments. And right now you can mute particular instruments you don't want to include. So for example, let me play it back and then I will mute the bass, the guitar, as well as the guitar melody just by clicking on these numbers on the left. And now as we listen, we just have the drums and the piano. So it really enables you to really strip down and customize your track. I spoke to the co-founder of Streamer, Luke Gordon, and they have plans to enable you to keyframe and control when certain instruments come into the composition. And I think that will be super useful because for example, I may want the guitar melody to come back in at 20 seconds, but right now that's not currently possible. It's either on or off. So once you customize the music track to match the footage, then go back to playlist and hit download. And this will download this new custom track to your computer. And when you click on show file, it'll open up the streamer downloads to the specific folder that it creates within your library folder on computer. And then if you want, you can copy over this track to your portable drive if you're editing from one. And then you can drag this music file into your project panel in Premiere Pro and then you can begin editing to the beat of the music, or if you need it to be a particular length, you can open it up in Audition to remix it to a specific duration using the Essential Sound panel. Now I have a full tutorial on how to remix music to any duration, and I'll put a link in the description box below, but I told Score Addiction, creator of Streamer, that they should add a button in Streamer that will enable us to choose a specific duration for the music. And I think this will enable us to save time so that way we don't have to go to audition and then remix it. So that's all there is to using Streamer. Remember, if you're a PC user, the PC version will be coming out in early 2019. So if you have ideas, be sure to leave them in a comment below as well. And also, right now, all of the music is free for you to use inside of your video projects. So go crazy, have fun with it. And in early 2019, they'll be introducing a premium subscription model. So that means that they'll be introducing new music every week that you can play around with. So it's kind of like a Netflix, but for music. So that's all there is to this video, you guys. I look forward to reading the comments below to see how we can make this plugin awesome. And yeah, stay creative and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.